Hey guys, thanks so much for coming over to watch another video here at Hernandez uh, Affordable Products. On today's video, guys, I'm going to give you another review of this particular all-in-one laser color printer from one of my favorites, Dell. Now, this one that we're going to be talking about is the Dell E525W. And as always, guys, we're going to talk about the product design, the different functionalities and features within the product, some of the specs, right? I'm also going to kind of play with the menu options and the display screen just for a little bit. Without in mind, give this video a thumbs up, share it, subscribe, post your comments, and let's jump right in. All right, so first things first, something that I also... I uh, like about this one in particular, and I've mentioned this in some of my older videos, is I like the color black. This one is completely black, but to help it offset the color a little bit on the design side of things, I do like the silver uh, logo for Dell um, compared to some of the other ones you've seen, mostly I think on laptops, like say, where it's fully black. Personally, don't like that type of of Dell logo. This one I do because it does stand out, so I'm a huge fan of that. The second thing, when it comes to being completely black, any sort of shine or glossy look to the design really stands out. So if I bring you a little closer here to the top portion of the printer, you'll see that we have some white spots here where you can kind of write on those numbers if you want to put something in particular. And you have lots of buttons and this one in particular being an all-in-one printer you have fax copy uh, print and of course scan so this is going to give you lots of functionalities and control as you can see on here and we're going to kind of dive in into those a little bit to give you uh, more understanding about them now on the design guys uh, you'll see that this one really is unique it's huge as you can see but it's not too big compared to some of the other brands or models that you've seen where it's a lot bigger than this one I personally think that this one is small enough not too big not too small is right in the middle and it fits perfectly anywhere as you can see with that in mind let me give you a quick walkthrough of the design now um, on the top here you'll have obviously your uh, spot where you're going to feed the paper for when you send in fax, right? And as expected, this area here is adjustable to whatever size you want. It does have this um, option here where you can lift this up a little bit. And I think they did this so that you can, you know, access this under here a lot easier, right? So that was great. You can definitely lift this up here like this. And of course, you have your skin area here. And then you'll put your paper and do your thing. You already know for most of you who've had printers in the past, what that's going to do. On the bottom here, guys, where you'll feed your paper. So you just basically pull it out like this. And then of course here, you'll be able to put your paper in there, adjust it so that it fits really nice, close it. And then you'll slide it back in there until you hear that snap. Now, when we talk about options on the side, there's really not much other than the compartment, which by the way here, this compartment is going to be where you have all your different ink colors. And of course, we're going to jump into that in a moment here and replace one of them. You then have your power on and off button on the side there. You have a USB in the front if it makes it easier for you to connect your USB and nothing on the side. However, it does offer this ventilation area to, of course, let some of that heat out of the unit, which is great. Let's go on the back here and see what, what it has to offer. As expected, you'll have some of your typical connections. You, you have your ethernet and you have your USB along with some phone connections as well. And then of course, your power on there. It does offer another compartment back here, just in case you ever need to go in the back here for cleanup purposes or perhaps to remove any stuck paper. You can do that from, this, from the back compartment. And of course, lock it on there. Very simple and unique design. I think where you'll get the most out of it is the top portion here where you have all the different keys as mentioned. So let's go ahead and power it on really quick. 
Actually, before we do, I'm gonna go ahead and slide that new ink on there and then power it on so that it boots up and loads it uh, and installs it for me. Replacing your ink, guys, on the Dell E525W printer is easy. I've done this many times. You just simply open this here like this, which by the way, you can slide it down more, but as you can see, it's touching here, which is fine. Then you're going to go ahead and find the ink that you're replacing. In this case, I'm looking for the blue one. As you can see, you have the Y, right? You got the M, you got the C, and then you have your black. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Simply lift it like that. That comes out, as you can see. All right, and then the last thing here, guys, I'm just going to slide it in here like this. Push it in, let it lock on its own and you're done. Close the compartment, put it back in place, and then power on your printer. And you're going to hear the printer kind of warming up, it's booting, it's calibrating for us now. This particular printer, guys, by the way, while we're waiting for it to boot up, you can obviously connect to it wirelessly. There's your option there if you choose to. And of course, using your ethernet cable. Then uh, here you're gonna have some indications in terms of the level of your ink. As you can see, we've replaced the C one. There it is, it's full. And then it looks like the Y and the M is gonna pretty much need to be replaced soon, but not at this moment. Now in terms of your options here, guys, you have some control. You have the copy, you have your fax, you have your scan, and then you have your menu option. So here you can choose copy. You can see the LED light came on, letting you know you select a copy. Fax, you can choose fax. No fax line was detected. You can choose scan, right? There's your LED. And then you're inside the menu options, and you can kind of navigate through the different options that are available. On the right side here, you have a little bit more functionality in terms of the context. You have some redial and pause. You have some uh, phone book and ID copy. And then of course, when you copy your, uh, your print, you can choose black and white or color. And then you can start your print on here. Let's go ahead and do a quick test, just for the fact that we already are on here. So let me choose copy, for example. And then I'm going to choose color, right? Let's choose color and then start there it is it's copying the paper give it a moment so overall guys you know it was a quick video simple enough to give you a close look of the Dell E525W laser color all-in-one printer as mentioned before you have wireless connection ethernet connection you have fax copy scan and print so it offers you everything and it's laser so what that means is that your prints will come out within seconds, very quick. If you like this video, guys, and this product, give it a thumbs up, share the video, post any comments or questions you have about this Dell printer. We got more videos coming up on many other product reviews that are going to be featured on our store or perhaps are already sold or those that we just get a chance to make a video on. Either way, you'll get a closer look. We'll be making those videos Subscribe to the channel. We got more videos coming up on printers. Uh, we definitely got to pick up on that category as we do. You'll be the first to know what's new and what they are all about. Thanks for watching. As always, look forward to our next video.